What's happening everybody? My name is Scott Mendenhall. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We have the brand new Flight Flynn Nip Flight Thin? Flight Thins. Nimbus tire for us to try out and tell you what we think about it. So let's get it started. Five, four, three, two, one, go! This Sunday, everybody! My name is Scott Mendenhall. We're amped about today. We're downtown by the Minnesota Vikings Stadium. Oh. trying to spread the stove about one wheels and give you reviews. If you're here today to learn about the Nimbus, let's get straight to it. It comes just like this, no box. This is how it was dropped off at my house. It doesn't really protect the tire very much. I mean, it comes with the sticker inside the seal packaging. If you would like a really cool sticker for your water bottle, you can go to scottmenandallshop.com and order that, a hoodie. We even have it in this reflective stuff. Okay, end of the promo for the stickers. Let's get to the tire review. Now, they're toting this as one tire ends it all, which means you can ride it on your XR and your pint. The pint, however, the Fender Delete has to have some kind of modification done on it. We'll modify it and we'll let you know what it is, but here is the Nimbus. I think this is Fight Fin's answer to what Float Life did last year with their Burst collab, which is a tire that you can put on both XR and Pint without any modifying of your Pint Delete. But it, it, this is pretty soft in the middle, super like soft, but not thin. It feels thicker than the Whisper that they have put out in the past. The sidewalls, definitely, a definite harder sidewall than even just the Whisper. Let me grab the Whisper really quick. This is the Pint Whisper that they released a year ago from Flight Fin. I really like this tire in the overall feel, but speed was definitely lost in the Whisper from Hoosier in Flight Fin. Okay, so feeling this, uh, it, it is a, it's a bigger tire by almost a half inch. When you read the profile on this tire, which is the Nimbus, they talk about when you put this on your pint, it gives you the height of the XR, so it changes the distance between the ground to your foot pads. And it also, it, it just must be a little bit wider than the Delete. We are putting this on the pint today. I like the way the pint rides, and I like the way the XR rides. I don't want my XR to feel anything like the pint. I just, I've tried other tires on that. Big difference in the weight, this Whisper, for the pint, very light compared to this. Some of you said I should get a scale to weigh it. That's probably not gonna happen. It hasn't happened over a year. We just go with the trusty lifting by hands, heavier tire, which has gotta translate into loss of speed, um, but they're toting that pushback is later with this tire. And so since I race against my lovely friends on the pint, it, if it's gonna give me pushback later, it should equal to more speed, but don't tell them that. Actually, I just let them know that because they are just, they're right on the other side of this camera. I mean, they're not going to be lit at all, but just so you know. Neither one of us heard you. They're, I heard of. What did he say? Something about being, being fast, though. Yeah, yeah, see? We, we don't hide anything around here from each other. It's, it's full disclosure. Everybody knows that we're off to trying to get faster. There's part of the wall. This is the Nimbus, and this is the, the Hoosier Whisper. There's a, it's a considerably different tire, so it's, it's gonna have to change the ride drastically. Now, some of you are gonna ask, why do I not have this tire on if it's lighter? Here's the crazy thing about the Whisper. It is so tacky, like it grips the ground so well that it decreases speed. And I am not about losing speed on the pint. And so this came off after a week of riding. So it really, I mean, look, the knob, the nubs are still on and everything. We're about to find out what this is gonna do. I think it's gonna drastically change the pint ride. The lead is on but you can see where you're gonna have to do some modifications to the Delete if you wanna ride the Nimbus on your pint. Here, here's where it's rubbing. I mean, it won't even spin. It is, there's no way around it. You're gonna have to cut through here. That said, I do have an idea that I don't know if it'll work or not, but Float Life brought out months ago a product that they ended up pulling off their shelves, but I have the the delete system that they made. I wonder, I just wonder if this will sit on there better. It clears here, 
but the click system that they have for the top part rubs just a little bit. There's just a little bit of clearance in this and I think I'm gonna give it a shot. So then I'm not having to modify anything. I don't even know if I'm gonna like the tire. So I don't really wanna modify anything. I don't wanna ruin this fender either or this delete from Float Life because I like the, the idea that I can pop something on it. I like that it's no longer allowed. Only a couple hundred people probably got them and I have one. You can, it's rubbing, because you can hear, like I'm trying to figure out, yeah, see like, it goes that way, but forward, it's rubbing. So I think if I'm gonna go with this fender, I gotta cut that off. I don't have the camera on a tripod, so Lily's gonna be the, the holder. Okay, flip it up so there is this notch. Hold it like that, Lil. It's right, yeah, Lily's pointing it out. Thank you, Lily. I think we've gotta cut that off to what? make it fit, yes. Wow. Do you want your face framed on that? Look at that, right wow. there. Wow. Wow, Lily. Insert Owen Wilson, wow. There's a quarter inch gap here, maybe an eighth on the corners here. Simple modification on the Float Life's delete. Ah. I think you're gonna have to cut out a lot more on your delete if you wanna do this. I just flipped it over to just inspect that it was clearing on the bottom side, and it's it's not. And I don't know how to modify this part because it's right, the, what needs to, be, needs to be modified is right there. You're gonna have to cut off a little bit of this delete part right here to make it be able to not get caught. If the ride is superior to all tires, then this will be worth it. I know Flight Flames on their website has said they've got a new delete that they're creating, it's just not out yet, then you won't have to do this. But at the moment, I guess let us figure it out for you. We've really thinned her out there. The sound is gone, so I think we won there. That was an aggressive cut. I can see all the way through. I mean, that's what it's gonna take to get your delete on. I do think you gotta remember that we used a delete from Float Life, which the corners are bigger, so you're not having to make as much of cuts, but there is some serious cutting that has to go on your delete. So if you only have one delete, I don't know if you really wanna, again, we haven't wrote it yet, so unless the ride is that great, then I'll, I'll let you know, cut away. But we have extra stuff here. And so it's great that we can do this for you. Let's get the screws in and let's take it for a ride. I love when we get to do this, get out on a nice morning float with all of you. This is first thing in the morning on a spring day in Minnesota. It's like 39 degrees, full battery charge and a very sticky tire throwing all kinds of rocks and sticks up on my shoes and on the board. And I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't do the whole video with all those rocks on there or on my feet. So stopped, cleaned it off, and we're back on the road. I have to say, I, I like the look of the tire on this one wheel. It just, it looks really cool as we display our one wheels in the office and stuff. It just looks good hanging up there. The, the, the roundness, the circumference of the wheel, it just complements the pint really well. Uh, and even the Hoosier logo is kind of wearing on me now. It just, uh, I, I'm, I'm liking it. Maybe it's the purple and green. That, I don't know. It looks really good. But let's get to the ride. Uh, immediately, you can tell you're higher on the pint. The clearance on this tire boasts that it's the same clearance as an XR, which you can definitely feel that you are higher off the ground. So that means if you are a person that likes to carve, it's going to be a little bit different of a carving sensation because your center of gravity now is higher off the ground so it's going to be a small adjustment not a huge adjustment but an adjustment it's it's going to again change your ride from what you were riding before because i do think this is one of the very first tires that lifts your your paint clearance off the ground unless you've done something else to modify your one wheel so the carving is definitely much different from the stock tire uh, what you're seeing here is i'm stopping to get my 
app open so I can see the speed because I know a lot of you are going to wonder, well, what's the speed of this? Since it boasts that pushback comes later, that must mean you, you get more speed into it. And so we're going to figure those pieces out as I open up the app and let it connect. And welcome to the, the back country of Minnesota as we have moved outside the city limits out to where we have a little bit more space to do what we want to do for uh, our family and our one-wheeling ideas for the future. Back on the road, I don't think I really see any cars except for one or two on this fine morning in Minnesota. One of the things I did notice as I started with a full battery that my battery percentage moved much faster. As now that I have my app open, I can I can watch visually my battery percentage decreasing rapidly. By the end of this, uh, I think I went just over two miles. I was at 50% battery. Now I'm climbing a hill here, so keep that in mind. And it's a little chilly. It's not too cold, road and colder but the battery percentage was decreasing rapidly so if you don't want to lose range this definitely is not the tire for you there are other tires out there that do give you a little bit more range if you're a person that really likes to carve and you like really smooth carving this tire might not be for you because of just the height that you now have these are things to consider when purchasing a tire for yourself i did enjoy push back later okay as I make a turn here and you can see that I've just in push push back it was around 15 to 16 miles an hour for me where I experienced pushback which was very nice that meant I could go faster I did think the pushback was a little bit stronger than I was used to so keep that in mind as well is that uh, I'm almost maybe nervous with the pushback because I didn't actually know when it pushed back was like is this like I'm gonna go forward like can I ride push back like I did on my previous tire or do I have to uh, slow down now and so there's a learning curve on that but it was a welcome nice feature to know that I can go faster and experience less pushback at slower speeds I do think that's what also feeds into the battery being drained so rapidly is you're riding faster you're not going at the same speed that you were previously, right? Because you're, you're probably going a couple miles an hour faster because you don't have pushback as much. It's welcomed. A guy like me who likes to race and compete, man, that might be the thing that I really, really want to do. PSI on this right now is right at 20 PSI. When I was playing around with it in the office before getting out there, I found the lower PSI, made it rub more. It's still rubbing a little bit, even after modifying the delete as much as I could. There's two screws that are on the back side of the pint that it rubs on. There's no way around it. Even with the custom delete from Flight Fins, you're still gonna have two screws that it'll rub. They do put this information on their website about the two screws rubbing. I don't know if it will over time wear the tire so it doesn't rub or will it wear down the screws so it doesn't rub if it wears the screws down i think that's alarming because then i cannot take it apart and i i would have to send it into one wheel to have them fix it versus me being able to take care of it because it's parts on the one wheel that uh, i don't even know if i could go to home depot or lowe's to grab that side of things so as I'm riding it, I almost thought in my mind, this might be the only ride I have on this pint with this tire because of those things. I'm not okay with ruining the pint in the long term of it. Now they do tell you that this tire can go on the XR and we might put it on the XR. I would assume, this is an assumption, it's dangerous to do that, I know that, but I would assume it would make the XR ride more like the pint but I have a pint, so I don't want my XR to ride like a pint. Now, if I had a growler, now, which I would love to ride a growler, I've not got a chance to do that. Maybe at some point we'll get a, our hands on a growler and get out there and, and ride on it. I think the growler would be a cool thing to test this tire on it because it's um, in between the two, uh, the XR and the pint. We might put it on the XR just to test it. 
this I I think we'll get a couple more rides out of it I haven't looked at the screws since I rode this ride but if it's going to rub those screws down it's an it's a no-go for me it it is a little bit stiffer of a ride as well now I'm coming off of the Burris collab with Kraft and Ride their treaded tire which I really enjoyed in the the sidewalls on those that tire is much more rounded so the carving was really nice there was a bite with the with the tread on it so going uphill on gravel was really an easy uh, situation to be in we did not take this off road uh, very much because after all those rocks shot up on my feet to be honest with you i just didn't want to do that i was like i was over it from the get-go understanding it's a brand new tire so they're always stickier right at the beginning it's just the way they are this delete did modify quite well i think the 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 stock deletes from one wheel i think you you would definitely be cutting off a large amount of that plastic and i don't know if everybody wants to do that especially if you only have one delete is it worth it that's the question right is it worth it to have to modify your delete to get this ride no i don't i don't think it is i, I think they're are, even the whisper is a better ride than this in in the in the style of riding that I enjoy it's, and you would have to have no modifications with it there were in my opinion a lot of modifications to to the delete now if you're like me that likes to find out and learn oh what's that tire ride like then yeah sure you're gonna love this and i can't speak for you saying that you wouldn't like this tire overall you might fall in love with it more than me because you like the clearance because you do a ton of off-roading and and you need to get over things so you would enjoy that but to risk the ride long term with those screws getting rubbed down <sighs> I'm gonna have to sit on it for a little bit, like a day or two. I know I have a race tomorrow with the team. I will race it with this just cause I'm not gonna switch out the tire today. But in my opinion, there are better tires out there for long term effects and better riding in carvability, in speed, in bite. I didn't get on this like I did the Whisper or even the Float Life's uh, collab their extra rad tire that that was a tremendous tire if you're really wanting to carve like you were on powder then you got to go to float life and get their tire and that can go on both as well i really do think this was their answer uh, they being flight fins answer to what float life has done this is their solution to it and you got to be a little bit different and it definitely is it's more rounded so uh, hopefully this helps you i hope you've enjoyed just the riding footage of us being out in minnesota as we are in early spring here and i hope that my thoughts sharing on it it, it it is helping you make a decision if this is something you would like again quick summary if you want hard stiff walls that allow you to really run and gun like this is probably a great tire just to go straight and go fast and get there but you're talking about four to five mile range i would just assume based on what i experienced today where you can charge to get back but you're going to get there in a hurry that you're going to love this tire if you like to carve your way and experience that buttery smooth feel then you're probably not going to enjoy this tire and the downside of the long or a large amount of modifications that you have to do to your delete really work against this tire in my opinion for the pint we will see what it's like for the xr so that we can compare the two maybe it changes the xr to exactly what we've all been missing with no modifications thank you everybody for watching subscribe to our channel as we drop one wheel content all over the place if you missed our big epic one wheel easter race oh my gosh you need to go back and watch that we gave away a one wheel pint to one of our great subscribers so go check that out see our other tire reviews as well drop a comment down below and we'll see you on the next one bye